Hey, I'm VK Tech, and this is version 2 of my serial encoder and decoder. Um, this one uses only one wire rather than two, which is the which the previous one used. So the previous one had a sync wire and a data wire. So the sync wire would turn on the decoder at the correct time so that when the data came in, it would be ready to decode it. So now we send a synchronization pulse through the data wire first before the data, uh, which will trigger this trapdoor and this rail line. Uh, the trapdoor then causes this block to be retracted so that this rail line doesn't respond to any further pulses through the line, um, which will be the data. So the, the next pulses will be the actual data rather than synchronization so we don't want them to go through the sync line. Um, and then these observers trigger the decoder as normal. Um, you'll notice I've also added this to the decoder. So this is a momentary output. Um, it's a little bit slow because you need to have at least some eight, ga eight game take repeaters in order to have the same pulse length for each lamp. So it's a little bit slower than it can be, um, if that, if if you just want speed and the pulse length doesn't matter to you, then you can uh, change that. But this is what I've got so far. Uh, this is what I've got for this, uh, for this demo. So you can just trigger that, and you'll get a momentary output there. Um, so it doesn't turn on permanently. It doesn't. XOR like um, the one in my previous video, but I just wanted to show a different way of outputting it. So to make this video a bit more interesting, I also messed around with instant wires. So this type of wire transmits the signal 11 blocks in two game ticks, but this can transmit it a lot, lot a lot further. Um, you, if you're going thousands of blocks, you will need to be careful that you don't run into update suppression, because this line, if you run it for a long distance, it can update suppress itself. So you may need to add in um, some block update detectors to schedule uh, subsequent lines using block events which don't get update suppressed. So I've also expanded this to 8 bits, and I also added a binary register on the output. So this will output, this will store the signal that's sent through. Um, you can see the repeater setup for 8 bits is a little bit different because you can't make it nice and compact like you can for 4 bits. Um, it's also faster per bit. Than the 4-bit one is because I've not bothered about different pulse lengths. Uh, what that does mean is that some of these observers will double trigger, but that doesn't matter because they're just pushing these cauldrons up. Um, you could use compulses here, which would make it a little bit less iron that you need. Um, I just don't really like compulsors uh, when I can when I can avoid using them. I prefer cauldrons. Um, so this binary register is pretty simple. It's just you reset it using these pistons, um, which are all triggered off the sync line. Um, so the synchronization just triggers the reset for the register. Um, and then whenever a signal comes in here, it'll push one of them up. And um, yeah, that'll turn on one of the lamps. So yeah, let's trigger it and see if it works. Hopefully it does. It does. Yay. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, I just made some improvements and wanted to show them, and um, also wanted to show how you can improve the speed of the transmission even further so that it's instant for uh, any distance. So yeah, world well downloaded in the description. Um, have a mess around with it. Enjoy. Bye.